I'm going to tell a funny story here. Good. Uh, one of the things that we were into uh, back in the 60s and 70s was looking into materials that we could use in uh, chemical processing labs or analysis labs. And we were looking at enzymes, uh, trying to get uh, using enzymes attached to glass or attached to materials that can be used in analyzing stuff, okay? One of the things that they were doing was they were going to uh, do a study of uh, using blood draws from animals to study uh, enzymes. The, the, the thing I talked about, the myocardial infarct, mm -hmm. they were going to try to figure out how they could use attached enzymes on glass particles, which glass are being inert, would help separate, sort, do re reactions, uh, and, and, and help them diagnose. They were going to do it with the blood of virgin sheep, virgin goats, virgin goats. And they had ordered a truckload of virgin goats to be delivered to Sullivan Park, and they had set up a pen and everything. And all of a sudden, you know, I'm thinking, hey, we're in the husbandry business, wow. <laughs> what are we right. going to do with that? Uh, so anyway, this, the long story short, uh, they were expecting virgin goats. The guy that shipped them made a mistake, and he presented a ram with a great opportunity <laughs> for the truck trip. <laughs> And when they, a few months later, <laughs> they discovered they weren't virgins. They were getting <laughs> little kitties. <laughs> so there was a story in uh, the magazine, in, in, in uh, uh, no, no, not the magazine, in um, Headlines in a Hurry, that Sullivan Park has goats. You know, you, you want a goat? We, we got goats. <laughs> so my so daughter, you're... my daughter was going through a hard time. She had developed Osgood Schlatter's in the knee and she was going to be a softball catcher, but she couldn't anymore. She couldn't get involved in activities. She was in the dumps. And so I said, Kelly, how would you like to have a goat? And her eyes lightened up, you know, that's better than a dog, right? <laughs> yes. So made a deal. If farmer out in the back has got a barn, he said, he'll let you keep the goat in that stable. You can have it. So she ran back and she talked to the farmer. She came skipping back and I said, oh crap. <laughs> he said, yes. <laughs> so. We, I called up Howard Wheatall, called up Howard Wheatall up there, and I said, Howard, you got this, uh, you got sheep, the goats to give away? He said, yeah. He said, well, listen, I want a male. And Howard says, well, I don't know, male, I don't know male from female. I said, Howard, <laughs> Howard, you pick him up, you look at him. If you've got a hangy down <laughs> thing, it's a him. You know, you guys up there in Sullivan Park, you're out of touch with reality. <laughs> so he, we chuckled. I got the goat. Anyway, long story short. And, uh, and it lived to be a, a pain in the neck, actually. We wound up giving it to a petting farm. God help those people. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there was, there, there, it was not all uh, nose to the grindstone. We had a lot of 